My name is Easton Brundage. I'm a white man with short brown hair and I'm wearing glasses and a button down shirt. I'm earning my master's degree in library and information science from the University of Illinois. This summer, I'm working with the Office of the Chief Information Officer's Digital Accessibility Team on the Year Keyboard Accessibility Project. To give a brief overview about this project, the Year of Keyboard Accessibility is a year-long initiative to raise awareness about the needs of people with disabilities, particularly those who use keyboards as assistive technology. My contribution to this project is divided into three segments, resources, training, and outreach, all of which are used to improve library operation. For the resources section of my project, my co and I set out to create an assistive technology guide for staff. This guide includes an overview of assistive technology and sections on specific examples of assistive technology software, hardware, and techniques. On the left is a screenshot with an example of one of my guide pages for refreshable braille displays. Each section of the guide includes a photo, a detailed explanation of how people use the assistive technology, video demonstrations, and related resources. I wanted to make sure that this guide was enduring, so I conducted extensive research to have the most up-to-date technology. I also prioritized including multiple ways people could learn. It was important to me that people viewing the guide not only learned what, assist what each assistive technology did, but could have concrete examples of how people use assistive technologies every day to navigate their devices. This focus emphasizes how improving accessibility directly benefits the people visiting library websites, apps, and more. Another component of this project was training. To address the team's concerns about the amount of content that can fit into our allotted training time, I created extensive documentation for future trainings and quality assessments for current training material. The material set included a detailed lesson plan framework, a complementing reference guide for developing trainings, and an example lesson plan. This included preparation for developing accessible lessons and pre and post instruction best practices. Through this, I optimized the process of creating new lesson plans and improved existing trainings. And to complement the assistive technology guide I created, I developed a new lesson plan for an assistive technology training. This produced a new and important training for staff to learn more about assistive technology. And it also helps me refine the training documentation and incorporate it into the team's existing processes. In terms of outreach, I added to our year of keyboard accessibility landing page so that all activities had clear instructions and explanations. This increases comprehension of staff takeaways and provides alternative interaction for people who cannot access the vision-based activities. I also increased communication between divisions in the form of tips for the weekly bite, our office's email newsletter. This is a continuing outreach project of sharing pieces of advice that everyone can incorporate into their day-to-day -day work to improve accessibility. The goal of these outreach efforts was to make sure there was clear communication for a wide range of knowledge backgrounds regarding accessibility so everyone could learn something new. As a future accessibility and information professional, this experience taught me that improving accessibility will always be an ongoing process, especially with continuing advancements to assistive technology. Additionally, it furthered my understanding that the insight and experience of people with disabilities is essential for the future of accessibility. Thank you to the Junior Fellows Program for this experience, and I want to extend a thank you to my mentor, Willa Armstrong, co-fellow Bailey White, and the other members of the ITDD Accessibility Team, Rochelle Bradley Montgomery, Wendy Stengel, and Sanaya Deese.